Good morning, everybody. It is back to work for me today. Yay. 20 minutes of six, I'm getting out of the house. Uh, it's really weird lately. Um, just for giggles, I, I, I've been like kind of checking the videos when they still say they're processing for HD. And when I go into it, it's in 4K. So I managed to get the vlog released early today and welcome new subscribers. I see we're 535. Thank you very much. Welcome to the channel. Oh, not sure if much you've watched. Um, <laughs> it's funny because I was mentioning that I never introduced myself on day one, so I should maybe do that more often. But I am Kurt, and these are my vlogs. <laughs> uh, nothing like doing it around, you know, day 2800 here. Hmm. Half moon. Damn, I should have brought the camera. I hope you're staying in that lane, bud. So, Best Buy shipped the Xperia Pro I um, next day air. St. Louis. It got to Kentucky as of 1217 and there's no out scan. Little concerned. And the really weird thing is with UPS is my original bag of dog food for Mateo is still saying it's delivering January 31st. I thought that had dropped off. I mean it got lost. So one day I'm expecting a free bag of dog food to show up. That's what I'm expecting. Yeah so today is supposed to be in the 50s and rain. That'll be fun, but like I said, I did get an open box version, and there it is. Uh, get this bad boy unzipped, and I did get a prepaid Verizon card just so it fully tested out. But uh, tool sim, yeah. all right. So the Pro I is here. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Best Buy didn't really uh, do much packaging. That's all it was in box is a little on the banged up side and inside is banged up pretty bad too. And there it is. There's her triple camera system with a one inch sensor that's only 12 megapixel because Sony. <laughs> Alright, so I might have to call BestBuy.com and complain because granted I got it, but it says no missing items, no damage, and there is no headphones. No damage condition, excellent, but it's missing the headphones for it. Which, you know, I wouldn't use them anyway, but still. I don't want them trying to charge me for them. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but we do have the startup screen. Powered by Android 11. And Xperia is kind of fluctuating. I'll do better later on, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick glance. And, uh, yeah, it's fired up. On battery, I have 34%. First test with the Sony Xperia Pro I. So, give this guy a little go here. See what we got. I did get like some sort of a heat thing. It tells me when it's going to overheat and whatnot. So, but we're going to try to film with this a little bit today and probably all day tomorrow and the next day. And try to get a side by side here in the next couple days with this. So, right now I'm running it at 4K 30. Stabilization is on. And it's in auto. Um, don't think I'll do a whole lot of manual right now with it. Might play around if I get time but this is just a standard lens it does some zooming but i'm not sure exactly what yeah, you can only go to 24 can you even zoom and i'm guessing that's a digital zoom i don't think that's going to be so you get like a kind of a stage zoom there yeah we'll play around with it um like i said it's just going to be for a quick little go around and see how it looks so far today, it's been so beautiful outside. Raining, raining, raining. Well, it, it this is more recent. It wasn't raining earlier, so. But you do get some uh, interesting controls here with volume and stuff. You can actually change how much you can boost your volume, so it's kind of cool. Right now we're running at 1 250th of a shutter, 100 ISO, and everything else is in auto. All right, well, I'm guessing here, because I've got no way to really check, see if I'm in frame. But uh, what a what a fun day! Really not that bad. Um, a little weird at the beginning. Lack of people. Just like we had no no nine o'clock scheduled. I wonder if I should plug you guys in. I don't even know where you're at anymore. Uh, all right, I got my Mophie going here. But uh, I'm not gonna judge battery life for a couple for a little bit here yet. 
Um, when I received it, I think I said I had like, what, 30 some percent. Um, I got it up in the high 70s and from then until last break it was in the 40s so that wasn't really bad and I've been using it for my work device all day. It's pretty sad that I've done these setups on these phones so much that I was able to get this thing fully operational um, that fast. Sony does a pretty good job though with not bloatware on their devices. It's uh, they do have a skin over it, but it's it's basic. They don't put a whole bunch of crap on there you don't need. I do need to clean up some some uh, home screens and stuff though, because I don't like a lot of clutter. And right now, everything is like just ugh, just drives me nuts. So I'll do some foldering and stuff. But I want I want to give it a chance to charge, but at the same time I want to play with it a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean the the lens is definitely big enough to look at. Um, you know where to look. So. I mean, I've done it with the iPhones for so long that having a back screen, I think, would just distract me from to look at the, the screen instead of the camera. So, I'm fine without it. And that's like 200 bucks. I am going to get out the, rem the remote. I meant to get another. I have batteries for it somewhere. I don't know where. I think they might be over in the bedroom, so I'll have to wait until Terry gets up. Because I think the battery in that may have died. And I'm going to also have to read the instructions again on how to repair it to a new device because there's a special trick with the C1 button and something else. So, but having the shutter button back, that's, that's one thing I, I really do like about Sony. I think Apple could do a lot more if they were to copy Sony in a little bit. The home key, make it flush like this does and have a fingerprint reader in it. Problem solved. Problem solved. Alright, let's see how she does for a long run. I got time lapse out of this bit. does not work with Sony. It'll take pictures on basic, but that's it. It will not work for video or the video perhaps. So I'm gonna have to connect the Bluetooth controller eventually, but right now it's all gonna be handheld. Guys, let's go pee -pees. It's not too bad out here. A little bit rainy. Right now we are caseless, which is a little on the concerning side. Come on, Pri, you gotta keep moving, baby. Oh, they got this thing all messed up. One cool thing is it does have a dedicated launch button for the video. Pro app, which is nice, and then use the shutter buttons. A um, couple little caveats to it, though. It is tall and very thin, and honestly, it's a little interesting in the hand. Mateo, don't be stopping. I think this way is going to be the hardest, and it looks like all the footage I'm recording this way is upside down. So I did get the case. Amazon delivered it by mail today, so. To get done it's a clear one so I can still see the device but uh, yeah I don't know flash is kind of small I don't know how that's gonna work out for me with night footage probably not too great we'll try to test it out later on as well I have taken some pictures and stuff so far but uh, I might play around here a little bit 
if I can get these guys to actually move. Now this is supposed to have like a third unidirectional uh, microphone for better audio quality. I do have wind noise reduction on, I believe. Right now it's not windy, it's just rainy. One thing I'm interested in seeing is the uh, Xperia uh, 2. That one, um, when you shut it down, the volume would just cut off, like it cut like two, three seconds off every clip. So, kind of interesting to see what your kids think, huh? What your kids thinking? You know, obviously you can, I have, oh, I have the focus on right now. Oh, I locked it. You can actually change your focus to infinity, which is what I had it on in the car on the doing the time lapse. And then you can lock it, so which I'm doing accidentally, so you can't even touch the screen by accident, which is kind of a nice little feature, I guess, to have, especially if you're going to use the back camera handheld. Thing's scaring me a little bit. So I'm not even sure I'm in focus right now. I have it about midway. I'm just kind of playing around to see how uh, if it works out. I have autofocus locked, so I'm not not really sure if I'm getting bokeh or not on this thing. I was watching some videos where the people did, so it'd be kind of interesting to see whether or not you get bokeh. Now having the shutter button, you hold it differently. You're not having the freaking sm uh, shift cam. It really sucks, because that was really been helpful for this phone. All right, let's see if I have any blurred background with autofocus. All right, so I've run into a few problems so far. One being all the footage is upside down, because I'm flipping the camera. Problem two is the Mac will not import it in Final Cut. I finally had to just photo sync the footage over. I had no choice, so I haven't had a chance to really look back. HDR is supposed to be turned on, but I'm not able to use HDR tools, so I'm going to say it's not. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. <laughs> Unless HDR is only available in Cinema Pro app, which, that's garbage. Here. I haven't had a chance to watch back or listen too much yet, so right now it's rendering. Make myself some race with spinach and shrimp, and um, yeah, enjoy the rainy night. And that's what it's been doing since I've been home. I did put the case on it finally, and this actually helps a lot. This gives you a lot more grip. Uh, what you doing, pretty bird? Huh? What you doing? Huh? You staring at me? This guy here, the green one, he needs his beak fixed again. It's uh, messing up on him, so don't know what to do about that. And this one here is not eating really well. She's left most of her food. Hello, ah, princess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna see much. I don't think the video light's gonna even show him. <laughs> that is pathetic. Anyway, hello, guys. After dark, get a little man outside. The rain has stopped. Now, uh, try to go for a little nap. Yeah, we're gonna go for a little walk here, bud. Get moving. And in comparison with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, where it lights the whole scene up, and you can see the little doggy. All bad little 20 pounds of him. Honestly, what makes it a real big pain in the ass is the fact that there is no auto switch. You have to have, go and turn it on before you even start to use it. And if you lock the phone, it shuts it back off automatically. And like a minute you turn it on, it turns on whether you're recording or not. It's just a goofy feature so, so, Sony has. I understand <laughs> some of their concepts. It's actually not bad out here though right now. 50 degrees, something like that, and the rain has stopped. It looks like they left the upstairs light on uh, in that apartment. Oh no, that's upstairs. Never mind. I forgot that's one bedroom. They're almost done, I think, with this one down here. So. Oh yeah. I was actually napping. She woke me the hell up out of a sound sleep watching strange ghost stories on one of the channels. I forgot what the name of that one is. Nearly the same area we were just in. Seems like it definitely cleans it up quite a bit. I'm not really sure what the difference is. But definitely not the same brightness that you get with the other one. Of course, you know, I don't think I have the screen turned up very bright either. It really doesn't seem to make much of a difference, honestly. I didn't turn it up full blast, but still. 
still very dark. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to see this back. Probably won't even see Mateo versus that image. Yeah. I know I've already seen some of the videos and low, or some low light stuff and how it kind of fails miserably. <laughs> I think a one inch sensor would let so much more light in. Yeah, exactly. All right, buddy. All right. Yeah, come on, let's go. All right, so now I got Princess out. She got a little more bright colors on her with the white tail and some white on her fur. She might show up a little bit better, but it's still... The rest of the image is just so dark. And the, the flash just does nothing. Oh, I just don't get why they don't try harder. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Almost done with low light tests, I think, for the night. The sky back here, though. I'm kind of curious how that comes out in the video. Because that is really, really cool. I've been taking pictures of different scenes back of that. Of course, I'm trying to eliminate the buildings as much as I can in photos, but that tree is cool. Alright, just to give you an idea now, we're a little further back, but still. Same concept for that night sky in the background. Yeah, there's a little more light than there was, but we're getting into the darker area. There's nothing, no lights here, so much better you can see the princess. She's not even here dinner tonight. She ate this morning and I think she's being turned. A couple bites and that's it. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of the only nice thing is the flash on the Sony doesn't blind you, but I don't know if it's actually illuminating me that you can actually see me like the iPhone does. It's actually confusing me a little bit because now I'm trying to find the shutter button on the iPhone that's not there. Okay, we are finally on the shooting grip. That took a little bit more than I was planning on taking. I'm kind of curious to see. I'm using the one of the Jobies. It actually has a mic holder as well. So let me look in the mirror here. Let's see how we are. Yeah, I mean, pretty far out. I think I'm in frame though, but uh, I think, let me go over here, turn this on quick, but I'm pretty sure, yep, I can zoom. Now, I'm not sure if that's changing lenses, um, but yeah, you definitely get to zoom at 72, and then you can zoom back out. So, it's kind of nice to have, not gonna lie, and I think, no, you can't. There's a, there's a photo button when you're recording. So you can take like screen grabs like you can with the iPhone and whatnot. Um, but if you're not recording, that camera doesn't work in video. In the Video Pro app. So Okay, so got this thing finally set up. Here, let me... I'm looking at myself in it, but let's flip around so you guys can see yourselves. And of course, like I keep telling everybody, uh, this button right here, very handy. You know, the, the controller can always be facing you. So, makes it nice and it locks. And you have some angle here too. You press in and you can you can change a little bit of angle. So I mean if you want to do kind of like a I don't know, I don't know what kind of shot that would be. But anyway, you get the idea. Plus this is also like a nice little tripod. Let's see if I can kind of show you. Yeah. Yep. So there's the shooting grip, the way it should be on there. Now the one thing I'm gonna say is you have very limited room because you have your um, volume keys, your lock button and thumb print screen. You've got this dead zone right here. Right here there is a tiny little button to launch this app. And then the shutter button which starts and records and takes pictures. But also if you press and hold this will launch the Pro Photo app. So, there's definitely very limited space to put. You don't want a real big holder unless you could go from here to here, but then you'd be in front of your camera. <laughs> Press the button in, turn me back around, and voila. I don't know. I'm, I'm very, very uh, scared to see the low light footage, but I'm going to call it a night now. I got Inner Night in America running. I got some other Xperia Pro video because I had to try to figure out how to set this thing up. So, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. More videos with the Xperia 1 Pro I until uh, at least March 7th. And then we'll uh, we unfortunately have to send it back to Best Buy. But we're going to have some fun with it until then.